I'd like to have a look at Google Chrome. It's just here on the right hand side of my screen. And there's Google Chrome. It's opened up with my website, but you can look for websites. So you can search by speaking. Google. So I've asked it to look up Google and it's found Google. You can add extra tabs to your Chrome. Tap that little button up the top right hand corner. Brings up a menu and we can create a new tab. What it brings up to start with are all your most visited websites. So if you use Google search a lot or if you go to specific websites a lot, it brings all of those websites up. One tap and it'll take you to that website. Let's look at our menu again and we could have bookmarks. I don't have any bookmarks in here but we can also look at pages that are open on other devices. So let's look at our menu again. Other devices and it shows with my computer and my phone what I'm looking at. Tap one of those and it will open that page on your mobile device. You can create a new tab. You can also create an incognito tab. This is one where it doesn't store any cookies, it hides who you are, and it doesn't remember where you've been. So let's go and close that tab back to our menu so we can share this page. We've looked at other devices, we've looked at bookmarks. We can find in page, which I quite like. This is the ability to search the the current page that's open for something in particular. Let's look see if the word plants appears. And there it is, the word plants has appeared. At the moment my keyboard is pretty much in the middle of my screen. There's a button here I can use to remove the keyboard. It's the arrow pointing down. And now my keyboard's out of the way and I can look at my screen. Now, like a, an iPad, you can pinch to zoom. You can scroll with one finger up and down. But probably the favorite thing is this ability to have several tabs open. You can save these as a favorite. So that's now a bookmark. Save that. I've saved that as a bookmark in this device. And there it is there. Now that I've gone to bookmarks, you can clearly see there is my Archon CAD bookmark. Tap on that and it will open that page again. If I look at my settings, there's my basic settings. Autofill forms is on, say passwords is on. I can look at privacy settings, accessibility settings, and so on. Most of these are exactly the way you need them to be. Now just at the top left hand corner there's an arrow. I don't want to click on that to go back. It takes me back, click on that again, it takes me back to look at that website.